So we like to spend a lot of time outside, whether that's going to football games or playing sports or spending time with friends and family around something like maybe a fire pit. Uh, my kids love to do s'mores and roast marshmallows and that kind of thing. And we, we spend a fair amount of time in our backyard, so I thought we would uh, build our own fire pit to where we had have somewhere to do our own s'mores and uh, marshmallows and that kind of thing. So obviously I've already got the hole dug. Uh, the first thing that you wanna do is lay out your blocks in an area to where you want this fire pit, figure out where the inside diameter is, dig the hole, and then where the blocks are gonna be sitting on the ground, you wanna get all the grass out of that area as well. Uh, and so that's what I'm doing here. I just spray painted around the bottom edge. I wasn't really concerned with getting paint on the blocks since that was gonna sit below the grass and you're not gonna be able to see it. Uh, so this, this is gonna work out just fine. Now, now that I've got all the grass out of the way, I'm just taking a a yard rake and just kind of smoothing it out the best I can uh, because I want this to set kind of level it doesn't have to be exact but I'm just taking a four foot level here and going around and just making sure that uh, you know we've got a pretty good level surface now in order to let the rainwater drain out what I've done is I've dug a hole in the middle of this hole in this circle uh, with a set of post hole diggers and I just go down so far, not eating anything uh, planned out. Just dug a really deep hole. Uh, I'll go back. I'll go here in just a little bit. I'll show you. I'll fill that up with pea gravel. But first, I'm going to go ahead and get the perimeter of the blocks set in place. Uh, I mainly dug the hole uh, yesterday to drain rainwater, but also needed some more dirt and clay to level up these blocks. And so that was a good opportunity to go ahead and get that hole dug. <clears throat> So I'm, I'm getting all of this, uh, the blocks laid out. And when I get toward the end, you have to kind of go back and backtrack a little bit because that last block may or may not fit. And so once you get all of it laid out, then you can take the level and then take some of that dirt and just kind of level things up. Now here I'm taking the bag of pea gravel and I'm filling up that hole in the center of the fire pit. And I'm just going to take a rake and just smooth that out the best I can. Um, you just don't want a big hump in the middle. Just get it flat and see there you go. You see all the pea gravel there. Uh, so the next step, I'm trying to figure out how far from the bottom of the pit is it is from there to the bottom of my fire brick I'm going to install. So I've got some crushed uh, paver. Uh, and so I'm going to put that in the bottom of the... Uh, fire pit it's actually called paver base and it's just crushed up pavers and so once you get all of that into the fire pit just rake it out and then they make a, a stamper to where you can actually compact this down really good but I just take my rake and uh, my feet and stomp on it pretty good get it nice and uh, packed in there I ended up using about I don't know, maybe four or five bags of this stuff to get it to the depth that I needed. Um, because, like I said, I dug my hole first and then I could have gone a little more shallow than I actually did. So, anyway, that it, that'll help me in the long run with uh, rainwater being below all of this. Here I'm adding in a layer of lava rock. Uh, this is going to help me level up some of the fire brick that I'll be installing here in just a little bit. Uh, but before I get to that, I want to go ahead and get the second run of blocks on. And this is what I'm doing here. I'm just, I'm getting everything in place because like I mentioned, once you get to the last block, that block may or may not fit. So I want to make sure that I've got all of the blocks in place before I start uh, securing them with this construction adhesive. So I've, I know all my blocks fit. I've got them in the, in the places that I want them to go. And so I start gluing down this second row of blocks. Uh, I'm using uh, just a construction ad adhesive that's made for the outdoors and uh, that also bonds to concrete. So <clears throat> this is gonna keep everything in place and hopefully uh, with kids and whoever else having their feet up on the fire pit and sitting on it and that kind of thing, uh, everything will be permanent. So now I can line up these fire brick. Now the top of the top of the fire brick is going to line up even with the second row of blocks. And 
Actually, it's gonna sit just slightly below it because the third row of blocks has got a lip that will sit over the edge on top of the fire brick. And so <clears throat> now you can see where the lava rock's coming in handy to kind of support that fire brick. And so after I get the top row of blocks in place, um, this is gonna be the last row, this is the third row. Uh, but after this row is in place, then I can go in uh, on the inside where the fire brick is and start lining those things up with the bottom edge of that top tier. And I'm not real sure what the glue is gonna do to these fire bricks, but I'm gonna put a little bit of this glue on the back side of the fire brick to hold them in place. A lot of the tutorials will tell you to put the lava rocks in to hold the fire bricks in place, but I just find it that it looks better when they're all secure and they don't move and all the lines uh, line up, make it look neat. Uh, so after all that's glued in, I'll go ahead and I'll add in a couple more bags of lava rock. And this is just to give it some depth and uh, to get, you know, give it a nice decorative look and feel. Uh, plus you don't need it to be too deep. And so uh, this will just kind of tie it all together. If you enjoy this project, uh, I encourage you to check out the link in the description, which will take you over to our website. And you can find more details there on how I did things and also where I got the materials for this project. And while you're there at the website, please sign up for our newsletter so you can stay in the loop on current projects that we're working on. And we also have plans there, so check those out while you're there. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.